How are you? So in today's video, I am going to be showing you how to keep your house feeling amazing, how to bring in amazing energy, and these positive habits are going to just make your life so much more positive and so much better. So please keep watching. To bring in good energy into your home and to let the bad energy out, what I recommend doing is for you guys to open up your windows. Let fresh air come in and enjoy it, even if it's a little bit hot or even if it's a little bit cold. That natural breeze is just going to remove all impurities and everything negative that is in your house. I love doing this since I live in Florida. It's pretty hot most of the time, so in the afternoon, when it's a little bit not as hot because it's always hot i like to just open my windows and allow for fresh air to come in and i keep the windows open for a few hours next what you want to do is to bring in plants or flowers i love having flowers around my house as you guys can see here I get mine at Trader Joe's and they completely change the ambiance in my house. I find that they are full of positive energy and if you notice that plants last a long time in your house, that is because there is good energy there. That is the best sign that you can get. So having them around the house is just going to change everything for the best. I love white flowers, I think. They're just so pure and not only are they good for you, but they also help cleanse the air in your house. I don't know if you guys knew that. So having plants or flowers by your nightstand, in your kitchen, wherever you want, is just going to change everything and bring in so much good energy. Now it's time to close your windows and I'm gonna be sharing this next tip with you which is very important and a lot of people don't realize it. Don't walk in your house with the same shoes that you walked outside with. This is because you are bringing all that dirt, all that negativity into your house. So if you want for your floors to be clean most of the time, I suggest using socks inside the house or slippers that you can just pretty much wear all throughout the house and then you don't go outside with. The next tip is to clean your house frequently. Because I have white floors and because I'm OCD, I clean my floors every day. I have an easy way of doing it. Don't think that it's something like a deep cleaning, no. I pretty much dust everything and I have a Swiffer that just makes everything so much easier and I like to clean underneath my furniture. First I like to dust and then I like to go in with a wet mop and I really go underneath all that furniture and remove all the dirt, any hair, any dust that may have accumulated and once I'm done cleaning the floors I do notice that the energy is so much better inside my home. Another thing that is very important is to put your laundry away and to do laundry. I think one load a day is going to save you from having that pile of clothing just gathered there. So something that you can do is to have everything organized. Like I do a load a day and after the dryer is done, I like to fold everything and I like to put it back in its home. If you want, I can do an organizational video, but I find that doing this just keeps everything tidy and more organized and I don't know, it's just nice and like the vibe in my house is so good because everything is back where it belongs. To bring in even more positive energy into my house, I love to light a candle. By the way, thank you so much Glass House Fragrances for sending me this incredible candle which smells divine. 
the ambiance in my house completely changes when I light a candle and this candle that I'm talking to you guys about is the Fireside in Queenstown. It's smoldering woods and cinnamon and it's a 380 gram soy candle and what I love most about it is that it really fills in the room with such a beautiful aroma and in case you don't know fragrance has the power to shift your mood for the best. This candle is not only beautiful on the outside, but the scent inside is so warm, so inviting. And this in combination with my flowers, in combination with my floors being clean, with everything being put away, just makes my home feel so good and so refreshing. And by the way, when people have come into my house, they've always told me there's such a sense of peace in your house and it's because of these habits. I am going to be listing down the website for glass house fragrances so that you guys can make a purchase there. Maybe you want to purchase the same one that they sent me and it is just incredible. I have used their candles before and they have the best quality. Something else that I like to do is change my mood for the best. I've talked about this in my videos, but changing your mood and feeling happier is a work that you have to do every single day of your life. We all have ups and downs. We're gonna come across people who are negative. We're gonna come across problems, but those things are normal. It's just a matter of knowing what are the things that make you feel good. And something that makes me feel really, really good is that after I shower, I like to put fragrance on myself and I love to layer it. These are the perfumes that I'm loving at the moment. My favorite one is Kayali by Monica Tan. This vanilla fragrance, guys, this is to another level and if you guys don't know you layer fragrance by applying the strongest fragrance first and then eventually working your way up you can apply a little bit of cream underneath like a body lotion so that the fragrance lasts longer but you feeling good is just also going to change the ambiance in your house for the best i truly do hope that this video helps you just have a more beautiful house full of positive energy so that you can attract the best things in life that you deserve. So imagine after a long day or when you're stressed out and you walk into your house, it's such a nice feeling to really feel everything relaxed and just walking into a place that is positive and full of good energy. I truly do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please let me know in the comments what your thoughts are and if you do any of these things. Thank you so much for your time. I truly do value it. Best of luck to you and whatever you wanna do and I'll see you next time. Bye. Still got your pearls.